guys and Morning. welcome to Windy Mar del Plata. We have made it to the coastal city and yes. of course today we're going to be having seafood because what else would you have here? Exactly we're gonna be having seafood and we're finally gonna be checking out what you know the city is most famous for all of its beaches. So the plan is to eat a lot of seafood and yes. then do a lot of walking burn off all those calories on the beaches. Yes and we're going to a particular restaurant that you guys recommended in the comment section on yeah. YouTube. It's called Espigón de Pescadores and it's out on a pier, out on the water. So yes it is almost noon, we're feeling hungry, let's go eat seafood and then beach time. Let's do it. it is freezing when you're walking around in the city because like the streets turn into wind tunnels but now that we're on the beach standing on the sand the heat is like reflecting upwards I'm not freezing anymore my feet are warm now I understand why people are actually swimming I couldn't understand it from a distance but yeah it's not so bad Sam a question for you if you were wearing your swimming trunks would you actually go in the water with this wind? I think I, think I actually would. It's starting to warm up a bit and the wind's died down slightly. Oh. So far, I'm only seeing kids in the water. A few brave children. <laughs> so, something that I find really interesting about the beach here is that a lot of families have come with their little tents to shield themselves from the wind so that they can still enjoy the beach on a windy day. And this reminds me a lot of the beaches in northern Germany. We spent some time there one summer and it was really cold, really windy, but they also had these like, I think they're called like Strandkorb, kind of like these little baskets or little tents where you could shield yourself from the wind and still enjoy a sunny day at the beach, even if the wind's blowing like crazy, like here. And there you have it. That's the restaurant we're planning to eat at today out on the water. for the bread and we have this rule that we should try not to eat too much bread before the main arrives because then we just can't handle it all yeah. but the bread is so delicious it's fresh it comes with butter i haven't tried it and yet also <laughs> anchovies oh yeah or sardines no those are anchovies salted anchovies <gasps> nearly lost the butter there saved it guys don't worry i saved it some butter this is the stuff. This is what I'm here for. This is what we're <laughs> here for the bread. This is what we always stuff up on. Here for the butter. And then, on top of that, we're gonna grab one of these little guys. Just one. Just one. And we're gonna make this happen. I feel like we're starting off the seafood meal, right? Starting off the seafood meal with seafood, <laughs> with fish. Good so stuff. Warm. Wine selection has been made. Wine selection has been made. We decided to go with Norton 1895 Classico. This is a pretty common table wine that you'll find in a lot of Argentine restaurants. I've had it a couple times before, I like it. It also tends to be one of the cheaper wines too. And we got half a liter. Yeah, we got some sightseeing to do. So yeah, otherwise we're, we're gonna end up napping afterwards. <laughs> if we did a whole bottle, we'd be going back for siesta. <laughs> we, have, we have too much walking to do. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a nice wine. It's, it's it's very drinkable. I mean, it's obviously not like a high-end wine, but it's, it's a nice table wine. Like, to me, you're not gonna be too disappointed if you try this one. Our fried fish entree has arrived. 
fried seafood entree. This isn't just fish. And you know what? They told me the names for all these things, but to me, it sounded like Italian. They're not Spanish words I recognize. This, I think it's something like corneletto, okay. which is a small pejere. This one, I think she said calamarete, which is a baby calamari. Yeah. And then we have the actual calamari. It all looks so wonderful. We've squeezed lemon juice over top. We have a bit of salt. We want to make it saltier. So I'm going to start with this little guy, head and all, tail and all. Is nice. Is it? I don't think I've ever put a whole fish in my mouth before. Oh, I have. <laughs> you can eat right through the bone, no problem. It has a nice flavor. Well, yeah, with those little fish, you could, they're meant they're meant for like one biters. Yeah. Yeah. It tasted nice. It's it reminded me a bit of anchovies, but less salty. Mm. Calamari. Oh. How's that? Very good. So nice with lemon juice. Fresh out of the fryer. I'm just trying to think back to the last time we were enjoying like really good seafood on the regular. I feel like it was back in Croatia. When yeah. We traveled there. That's when it was. was. It like last year. It's been yeah, a while. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been over. Uh, yeah. Time flies, guys. It's actually been over a year since we were there. It has. But when, even, we, when we were eating it, yeah. I even remember trying something like this in Croatia at a seafood restaurant. Back there, they were like stuffed. Right now, we're just having fried baby calamari. Have you tried everything now? Mm, I've tried all three. So good. So good, huh? I'm impressed. All right, time for me to try the mixed fried basket over here. This was Sam's selection. Yeah, th we were trying to decide on an appetizer, and it just sounded really good to be trying trying this. So I'm having a double. A here. double fish. Mm. Oh yeah, crispy on the outside, salty. It's quite tender to be honest too. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. Look at this guy; it's a giant piece. I think they said that one's called the calamarete mm. or something oh like gosh. it. That's so juicy. I really like the batter as well. It's greasy but in a good way. Mm -hmm. I love this kind of food. Like whenever I went to Atlantic Canada, they also specialize in, in this kind of like deep fried seafood. So it's a very familiar taste that I remember from my childhood. Of the calamari. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. I love it all. This is just the appetizer. Like, we still have a whole seafood I know, barbecue coming up. We actually have up. the barbecue. The grill is yet to come. The seafood Whoa. grill is yet to come. Wow, oh, gracias. Wow. Okay. The seafood parrilla will make you drool. We need to give you a tour of this. It is humongous. There's a lot of shellfish in here. And just like, what a wonderful presentation. I don't even know what to say. Beautiful. So first of all, we have a bed of golden yellow potatoes. They've been sliced and fried. Very nice. We have oysters. Yeah. We have scallops. Scallops. We have shrimp. Shrimpies down there. We have clams. We do. We also have calamari hiding there in the bottom. <laughs> yeah, prawns maybe. We and then have we have red peppers. Some squid. Chunks of fish. Wow, this is like an assortment of everything you could possibly imagine. Look at this chunk of fish. It's a gift that keeps on giving. It's like yes. there's, there's more goodness buried on top of goodness. Anyways, thing is, there's lots to keep us busy over here for a while. I know. So we should get to it. Here we go. Ooh, that came right off. Very easy. I'm gonna peel this off because I'm a picky eater, guys. I take off the sides. Check that out. You know, they brought us chimichurri, which yeah. is a must when you're having an Argentine barbecue. Yeah. And they also said we have an ají sauce yeah. that isn't spicy. And of course, lemons. I think for this one, I'm going to go with a lemon. Just squeeze it on the scallop. Beautiful scallop. Look at that. Mm, wonderful. Mm, so tender. So fresh. Just how it should be. And beautiful presentation with the shell. Look at that. Yeah. That's beautiful. Let's see what else. I see fish. This Try it fish. all. Look at that. A white fish. Again, 
I'm perfectly content with a bit of lemon juice, though maybe, since we are in Argentina, chimichurri. a little bit of chimichurri might okay. be in order. Why not? Mmm, very nice. You good? I think this may be my first time in my life having a seafood barrida. This is a first. Being documented for YouTube. What is this? <laughs> in Argentina. We also have roasted red peppers. So much going on here. Our daily vegetable intake. Yeah. Oh, got some of these. Clams. Well, it's hot. Oh, oh. Fresh off the grill. That's very tasty though. And it's just all very fresh. I mean, we're right on the water. So of course they have access to wonderful seafood. And honestly, so far I've been really impressed. We probably should have got white wine, but you know what? We like our red. Probably, but we're in Argentina. We drink red. Let's see, something I haven't tried yet. Look for new things. Let's have a shrimp. Ooh, beef. shrimp. <laughs> oh. I'm so juicy and buttery. Mm. Let's try this massive oyster, especially oh. for you. Ooh. Oh. Mm. oh my gosh, that's so good. Normally I don't love oysters, but the way it's been cooked, it's almost like it has a pudding texture. Ooh. It's rich, it's creamy. You've got to try it. The first time I tried them, it was raw. Yeah. At a, it was at a bar in Glasgow. Do you remember that? I think it was like a gin bar or something oh, wow. and we had oysters there. Way back when, huh? Yeah, way back, well, maybe like a year and a half ago. Got and it. one of these little, what are they called? Langoustines? Shrimp? Yeah. Giant shrimp? Prawns, giant prawns. Prawns. I feel like those are just asking to have some time on camera. What? I'm just gonna rip its head off. That's the way to go. This is anything but proper but enough to try some here mm. that was like next level tender and buttery if you're like come to Marta Plata and you're like should I try this seafood should I not it's absolutely gotta have it like, it's so mm -hmm. delicious I think for people that don't even normally like seafood or fish that much it's worth giving it a shot it's that tasty here it's another thing to mention this restaurant has mm. filled up it's really full crazy up. It's past one now. Yeah. It's a bit more typical for Argentine lunch. We always yeah. come too early. <laughs> well, guys, it is time for price point. Let me just say that was a wonderful seafood barbecue. First ever for me, it was delicious. We had some food left over. We just, we couldn't tackle we could, it all. We couldn't, we couldn't finish it all. No room for dessert either. Oh, no, no. <laughs> We've learned to say no to dessert when we can't do it. Otherwise, it's just a coma situation all afternoon. It is. Um, but let's talk about the price. The total was 1,390 pesos, which yep. came to 36 US dollars, which I thought was really good. Yeah. For seafood and wine, came, massive so portions. So it came with like all the all the bread, soda water, red wine, really nice appetizer. Yeah. Really good main. Our main had potatoes. It had some roasted oh. peppers. So it was a lot of food. It was good. Highly recommend the place, not only for yes. the food, but for the views, the ambiance, just being able to look out at the exactly. beach. Exactly. It's incredible. It must be quite spectacular at night too, I yeah. imagine. Yeah. Honestly, it's a one-of-a-kind location, a restaurant on the pier yeah. over my shoulder. I'm not sure if you can see yeah, it. Yeah, you can see it to the left. right there. <laughs> you know, it kind of reminds me of that restaurant in Lima that we've been to a few times. Yes. La Rosa Nautica, also set out on a pier on the water where you can watch the surfers. Yeah same deal here basically and yeah it was a lot of fun we ate really well now we're gonna hit the beach we're gonna yeah. walk obviously we're not dressed to go swimming i'm not sure i'd want to strip down anyway in this wind oh my gosh uh, i'm i'm hot in a, in a t-shirt and shorts i don't know oh, how you can be all bundled up chilled, chilled. you're ridiculous but Anyways. we're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go for a stroll along the boardwalk that's the plan onwards I just found 
the statue of the sea lion and posed next to it, feeling pretty proud because my dad lived in the city for a few years as a kid and he told me they used to take photos next to that sea lion. So I was like, okay, need to track it down, get a photo of the next generation standing there. And we found it. Well guys, that is our outing for the day. There's a lot of cool stuff happening along the boardwalk. Lots yeah. of different musical performances, people hanging out. Street performers, you can come here any time of day and there'll be something different happening. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we just had some ice cream, other people were enjoying mates. And yeah, we didn't go in the water, but we enjoyed the beach. Well, I, I, dip, I dip my toes in, I can confirm it's icy cold. Ice so cold. Anyone who's swimming, there is a, deserves a, a medal for bravery for sure. Anyways, we'll say bye for now and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye guys.